so guys we have a curd sample which is a lactobacillus and we will see if it is gram positive or gram negative we have iodine sample we do have crystal violet dye and saffron in dye also we have alcohol that i will be using we have droppers and we have water we have water i because i was in hurry so i just took the water in the glass otherwise i also have beaker with me and that's it so guys let's start the practical first of all you people are going to clean your hand because in biology you need to be very much sensitive about the cleanliness now guys i will be taking little curd sample take little amount of curd sample try to take the thicker part and not the thinner part and guys one more thing when you are taking the bacteria sample you can use another slide to make thin smear like this as you see now guys you need to dry this bacteria and just remember you know we can dry actually dry is not a proper word we use the word fixing that we are going to fix the bacteria fixing can be done with heat also i have a heater with me but i'll prefer a dryer because heating can damage the bacteria it can kill the bacteria so i will be using this dryer i will be using this blow dryer and i am going to keep it at a distance okay i will be doing it so you cannot see it on this camera but i am blowing it with the air and i'll keep it from the distance so that my bacteria is not damaged so guys now what will be the next step okay so now this is crystal violet dye i am dropping crystal violet dye over the back like this and i'm keeping it at a distance so that all the bacteria is submerged into it okay all the bacteria is submerged so access i will be throwing it let it stay for few seconds now we will be taking water and we will wash it after every step we have to wash it now what is the next step after washing so i have this iodine with me this iodine is known as fixing agent because the dye because the dye has entered inside the cell it is going to help permanent bonds to be created like the dye crystal violet will make permanent bonds inside okay okay so now use let's use iodine over to the slide let's put iodine you need to remember the step guys so let it stay for few seconds now we will again take the water sample and wash it off now what is the next step so now let's wait for a little time let excess water be out and we will decolorize it okay so let's take alcohol and let put it over as you can see i'm going to put alcohol over it as soon as i put alcohol look what happened you see it as soon as i put alcohol what happened all the chemicals are trying to ooze out actually alcohol is going inside and removing the excess chemical so strongly okay let it rest again for 30 second excess chemical literally is out now i'm going to wash it with the water again now guys let's do the last step so i am taking the saffron in dye and put it over the bacteria sample let it rest for 30 seconds okay i'm going to put it like this now excess chemical will be out we will simply put water over it okay let's see the bacteria under the microscope now you need to tell me whether it is gram positive or gram negative positive ma'am gram positive to positive very good you people are learning it if you look here this is another result saffron in dye is seeming to be externally but yes. bacteria are back blue color you can see pink color but that pink color is not inside got it yes. remember it is yes, not much but inside some of them you are right but this is majorly gram positive a little amount can go and there is a reason for that 